Ko Nichiba Mino, this is Security, and you're watching PokeCast. Welcome to the first episode of Could Be a Game. Kind of get a little inside of what this is this little series is gonna be about is this is gonna be ideas about different things that could become a video game. So I'll be talking about you know comic books, handhelds, card games, board games, things like that, that could really be brought to the current gen systems for we can enjoy old things but in a new light so i hope you guys will enjoy this so here's the first episode of could be a game to talk about the first thing uh, i have been thinking about why not something like this tiger electronic handheld hd collection you know this was a huge, huge thing, and to I can remember back in the 80s and the 90s, the biggest thing that Nintendo had as a competition to their Game & Watch gallery really was Tiger's Handhelds, and man, they did everything. If they could get a license for it, they would do it, and they were fun. True, there was some crappy ones. There was really good ones, and I had an opportunity to play several. Um, of course, a lot of these I'll be showing around here. I have not played, but, you know, it was just because I had a Game Boy, and, yeah, I was able to buy a couple of the, the uh, Tiger handhelds because, really, they were a lot cheaper to buy than actually buying more games for my Game Boy at the time. And I was able to get a couple of them which were really good. So having a, you know, having these games come back on the consoles would be a fun thing uh, to play. At least that's what I think. Now, for everybody just kind of give a little background. Uh, Tiger's been making games and stuff since 1978. And some of their older stuff <laughs> were definitely bizarre. But hey, you know, that's what they started out doing and it worked. It really worked and they got some amazing games to come out. And that's something that was very important to help them out. One other thing that they did was they made really bizarre looking things. I mean, just, just look at this. A Mr. T-shaped... <laughs> I'm sorry, that does not look like Mr. T. It looks like Mr. T. Retardo. Okay? Seriously. But, you know, they had a lot of cool, cool items that they made, and they had fun making them and trying to find ways to actually work. And that's one of the things that I really enjoyed about Tiger. With just so much that uh, is out there, you know, I think they have almost a hundred games or more. You know, they made watches, um, they made keychains, they made their own virtual pet ones, the Giga Pets. They just went out of the way to see what they could um, piece together and give out to all of us. Um, they were able to also get things from Namco, they were able to get things from uh, Midway, Sega, um, Hasbro. I mean, just they really went out of their way to make these amazing little games. And to be able to get these back um, on the consoles, I think it'd be a, just, it really would be a, a really good thing. You know, we've had uh, Atari collections before. We have Game & Watch Gallery Collections. We had Intellivision Collection. Um, there was a Plug & Play Coleco a Collection. Um, you know, it's, it's really kind of sad to see that we have all these other collections out there coming back now. But one thing that is missing is this small, I shouldn't say small, I should probably say uh, short-lived genre of games that were, you know, didn't last as long as they could have, 
but did still last until the two, early 2000s. So it was, it's really cool to see that we have all these amazing versions of, you know, epic games. I mean, you have Gauntlet right here. You know, it definitely plays different from the original Gauntlet, but it turns uh, our beloved version of Gauntlet we were used to into now a top score version and see how long you can survive. Okay, <laughs> not too, totally different. But, you know, being able to play these type of games um, with online leaderboards, um, some trophies or achievements would be really sick, in my opinion. Because um, after playing the Midway collections that they released and having to actually do certain things, the game made it really fun. Made it, you know, there are already games I loved. Now I was able to go and, you know, earn some, earn some achievements and trophies for the games that I grew up playing and also trying out other games that I have never tried, uh, had the opportunity to play yet because. Um, I didn't have all of the Midway collections had previously came out. Same thing with um, other collections, you get that opportunity to play it. And since there's so many uh, different ones they made for this a collection of, you know, 50 games alone, if they were able to get the licensing to do that, would be so much fun. You know, Power Rangers, you have Space Jam, Star Trek, Paperboy 2, all these different games where they were able to Hey, what's the basis? What can we do to make a small handheld Game & Watch Gallery style of that game? I mean, um, these are just some of the games that really were that awesome. And that's why I think this would make an amazing game. I really do think it would be an amazing game. With all everything that there is out there, bringing back such games like this would be so much fun. I really hope that, you know, this may spark something to, hey, we really need these back. And, you know, for all of you out there who grew up playing these, you know, leave comments. What was your favorite one? Which one did you enjoy from Tiger before they went downhill and made those horrible systems? <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, this could be a game. You know, could be a game. Hope you guys have enjoyed. This is T. Sakura saying ciao and sayonara.